Hello everyone, it's Nat here from Studio Hacks, and today I'm answering questions based around GarageBand from the internet. I'm using a tool called uh, answerthepublic.com where you type in a search term and it shows you all the questions people are asking on that topic. And this is one that comes up a lot and I haven't done a video on this yet. Uh, how to cut, here we go, how to cut a section. Um, another common search is how to cut a track. Um, so what I think that question is, is people are asking, uh, this is a track here, this is an audio track, they're asking how do we cut that waveform. So basically the correct terminology is a region and the uh, rather than cutting that, what we actually want to do is splice that or split it at the playhead. So you can uh, split an audio region or a drummer region as well as a MIDI region. And all you have to do, the quick, uh, simple answer is pop your playhead where you want to uh, split that region and then make sure the region is selected and you hit Command T. And that's going to split the region right there at the playhead. Now, an important thing to remember um, with these regions uh, are that these are a representation of the file. So when you split these and also when you trim them, um, you're not destructively editing the file that you may have recorded or the, rec um, the file that's stored on your computer. You can see there when I'm moving this in the background, there's a gray uh, version of that waveform. So that's the file that's still always there. It's still intact. So even if I split that and move that over here, I can still then expand that out. And that's now, this bit here is now a copy of that bit there. So it's, you're kind of splicing the file on, on the region side of things, um, but it's not affecting the underlying audio file. It's not a destructive edit. So you can always, you know, you can split this up to your heart's content. The other way to do it is just go to edit and go split region at playhead. So there's the shortcut command T. So you can go and edit this to your heart's content. You have to make sure the region's selected. You can move it around. You can do all sorts of things, but then it's still there, that audio file in the background. Now, one other, th one other thing I want to show you uh, is also on a MIDI track. So the MIDI track is where you've recorded in the MIDI data for a software instrument. When you splice a MIDI track, uh, something can happen that can be a little bit annoying. So if you have a, um, a long note, as uh, as in this one right here that goes across uh, a, an area that you want to splice, you'll notice when I splice or when I cut this MIDI region, Command T, that now that note is cut off. So an, a MIDI note cannot go across regions. Uh, if I was to expand this region out, see there's that note there. So it's the same as the audio. I haven't destructively edited uh, that MIDI um, there. It's still there in the background. So what I can do is if, let's say, if I wanted that section, um, copy and paste over here. And then I'm like that note, I need that note. You just expand that out and there's that note again. So the exact same thing uh, for a drummer region. Um, if I create a drummer track here, there's a drummer track right up the top. Um, just select your drummer region if you like the first two bars and you just want those ones only. Command T to split it. And then I can then just uh, copy and paste that. Or if I hold down the option button and drag, my finger is still on the option button. You'll notice, see there's a little plus there. That is just a way to duplicate. So there you go. That's how you split a region. Uh, splicing a, a region or a clip is another terminology. A lot of people use the term cut. So that's basically because uh, in logic, um, the splice function has a, a pair of scissors. So maybe that's where they get that cut from. So I hope you enjoyed that content. And uh, if you want to learn how to create commercial quality music in GarageBand that is release ready, make sure you check out my Udemy course where I'll pop a link in the description. And if you haven't done so already, uh, I'd love to have you on board to support this channel as a subscriber and uh, like the video, pop in a comment if you want me to do a video on a topic. 
uh, or if you want me to have a listen to one of your mixes and give you a critique, just uh, get in touch with me by leaving a comment. Okay, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.